G'day Capricorn, welcome to TJ Tarot Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as at now. See what's going on. So this is the general reading, take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Cross watches, this could be you. If not, it will be somebody else's energy, so keep that in mind. Thank you all for your likes, shares, subscribes and views. Every single one of you is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. And of course the decks I'm using today will be listed in the description box below in the order that I'm using them. Alright, let's get a message for you to start off with. Capricorn. True love, this is the romance of a lifetime. Ooh, healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Romantic feelings, your feelings are worth and re are real and worth exploring. And reconciliation, someone from your past is returning. So you might want to reconcile with someone you have family um, have romantic feelings for. You might want to heal this because you see them as your true love, Capricorn. Ooh. You want to heal something with a true love and heal things? Very nice. Okay. Hmm. No, so go again. Okay. Yeah, you want to free free yourself from this whatever it is and heal. Um, take have back control of your life. All right, give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. If you're new to my channel, I don't take reversals and I let the cards jump for the main reading. Otherwise, I read from the bottom. Three cards for the love energy coming towards Capricorn. No. It's really hot here and my recording device is boiling hot. <laughs> so hopefully it doesn't stuff up. Alright. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Someone wants to get to know you. Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Uh oh. They've got some sort of addictions or codependency here. And wedding, this situation involves marriage. So they are looking for a commitment here. It's at the bottom. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit or fun to shine. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Oh, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Oh, no. So, they want to have a heart-to-heart, -heart, but they're coming in playful here, thinking you could be the one, but not seeing it going anywhere. Oh, this person's a bit wishy-washy. They're a bit wishy-washy, Capricorn. Hmm. Ooh. Hmm. Want to get to know you, but then there's some addiction problems, and then they want commitment. But then, <sighs> all right. What's the message for Capricorn? For you. Five of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Hierophant. Yeah, they've disappointed you before. You want a stable new beginning here. You're trying to manifest in a commitment. Yeah. Oh, Capricorn. Mm, yeah, you want to work on things. You want this to work out. Because, yeah, there's been a painful ending between you two. Yeah, there's something they need to reveal to you, and we're going to find out what that is. Yeah, you definitely want to work on this, Eight of Pentacles. Tell me about getting to know each other for this love energy. Coming towards Capricorn, please. they want to reveal by getting to know Capricorn oh dear <sighs> 
Four of Wands, Devil Energy, this is your card, although I don't like it to be your card. And the Hierophant, wow. So they want to get to know you. They want this stability with you, with you, and a commitment. But if we take you out of the equation here, they want stability, but there's some sort of toxic and well addiction here in the middle of them going from just stability to a, a full-blown commitment. <sighs> Queen of Cups, they love you. There's beautiful love here. Love and loyalty. Um, the best love in the deck. All Queens are loving. She's the Queen of Love. Water energy. So there is love. They do want love. But there's heartbreak here. Three of Swords. They want things to be balanced. Six of Pentacles. But they're holding back. Four of Pentacles. They're having to tame that beast with the Strength card. They know they've got to tame that beast. But they're holding back from balancing things out. Because of heartbreak. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, they need to heal something here. They want to heal this with you, but they've got something they need to heal. Yeah, because they're stuck up in their head about something here. Trapped in something they need to heal from. Tell me about codependency for this love energy. Come in towards Capricorn, please. Oh, it's knocked my sign down. Okay, they have the chariot, the knight of swords, and the fool. Well, they've got an addiction to moving on, cutting people out, and having new beginnings. Mm. They're um yeah the yeah they move on cut people out and yeah have new beginnings treat people like fools in a way but the ten of pentacles they want that long term stability this is stability to them it makes them feel stable to keep moving on forward cutting people out having new beginnings because they haven't healed their heartbreak. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Cups, and the King of Cups, yep. Yeah, they've still got this heartbreak. The wheel, they don't let, the wheel keeps turning and the heartbreak keeps staying because, yeah, and it causes nothing but confusion wherever they are on the wheel because they haven't learnt to control their emotions. They haven't dealt with the emotional problem that they have. So they, yeah, they don't show emotions. They're one foot in, one foot out all the time getting opportunities and then undecided about them because they're not healed. So they just keep, yeah, investing in people and moving on. Yeah, and sneaking away. Seven of Swords. Yeah, they need to put an end to it, that's for sure, the Death Guard. Tell me about wedding for this love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. Yeah, ten of wands, it's a burden. Commitment, marriage, it's a burden. It's a burden to them. It's too much. It's too much for them. Six of cups. Yeah, because of something in the, that happened in the past. They're still carrying the burden of something that happened in the past, and that's why commitment's a burden for them. Closing Need to close out that cycle. Knight of Wands, Fire Energy, Eight of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands. So yeah, they know they need to close, close out that cycle, but as far as taking action and working on it, they're, they're too much of a wounded warrior and guarded. They know they're they know that they need to put the work into this and close out that cycle of acting like a player. 
put the work in, but oh no, I'm too tired, I don't, yeah, it's too much work, excuses, excuses, they'd rather just move on, oh, I don't like these readings when they're like this, <sighs> all right, give me your messages, a message for uh, Capricorn, please. Helpful people, success, yes, and abundance, yeah. So look to the people around you for help and support. Um, you, you can be successful. Yes, definitely you can have success in your life and grow an amazing abundance here. So um, look for people who are helpful to you you know, that help you become, you know, support you in your success. And yes, you will have that abundance, but this person is not, this person is not going to help you with your success Ooh, within the next few months. Communicate clearly, yeah. Yeah, get clear about what you want. Because I don't think this person is going to give it to you. But again, it is up to you. Alright, give me three more cards on this love energy. Coming towards Capricorn, please. Yeah, you'd be more successful with helpful people. And I don't see this person being helpful. They might want your help, but it's not going to do anything for you. to me here. It's my favourite song. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Thank you. Oh, and it's got on the floor. Cheeky bugger. <coughs> it's face down, so I don't know what it is. All right. So they have Remain Positive. Peaceful resolution and take action. Okay. So what's at the bottom for them? Helpful people. Success a year from now. Let go. Yeah. So they um, see you as a helpful person. Um, and that they could have this success for you, but when they look to a year from now, they let go. If they're looking towards the future, they let go. No, they're not in it for the long run. They're not looking for the long run. Not in it for the long run. And as soon as people start talking about the future, they're out. Yeah, the chariot, they're out. Message for Capricorn is... Judgment. Oh, sorry. I've got itchy cheek. Eight of Swords, Four of Wands, and the Four of Cups. So you're going to make that judgment call here. Do you want to be stuck in your head with someone who drives you crazy? Or do you want that stability? Do you take the offer or you, do you reject it? Yeah, you're going to have to make an executive decision here as the Emperor. Do you want love and stability with the Queen of Pentacles? This is your energy. Or do you want to spend all your nights stressing? Because I think this person is just going to cause you stress. You know that. 
yeah, Queen of Pen uh, sorry, Queen of Swords, yeah. Protect your heart, Capricorn, Capricorn. Um, yeah, don't let them in till you see the truth of what this is all about. Yeah. Six of Wands, see if it is going to be successful. Do they want long-term stability? Because otherwise you're going to get left out in the cold here. You want this to grow and move forward with stability, Knight of Pentacles, but the wheel's turning here. Yeah, time will tell, can they tame that beast? Will they open up those emotions? Water energy, king to the queen of cups. Tell me about remain positive for this love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. Come on. What am I remaining positive about? Okay. Eight of Wands and the Five of Wands. Uh, so they want this back and forth communication, but there's conflict. They may cause conflict and confusion. Also, the Five of Wands, which was pointed out in a reading I watched the other day, um, is about them practicing for the battle with their wands instead of swords. So they've got this back and forth communication, but it's just practicing. They're not in it for real, it's just a practice. So they remain positive that there'll be this back and forth communication, but. And they're possibly conflicted about whether it will go any further than that. Emotional fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. But is it selfishness as well? There could be a drinker. Is it Dutch courage? Do they... They're getting that... They've had a few drinks and then they... Or had a few whatevers they're addicted to. And then they call you up with this back and forth communication, but it just starts a fight, even though they try and remain positive. The Knight of Wands, Fire Energy, Eight of Cups, Hangman, and the Three of Cups, yeah. So it's just about this passion, passionate energy, passionate action. It's a player. And they're going to walk away. Leave you hanging while they go off and party. Could be drinking again. Or well, they're just a player and it's a third party. Like they have in the past. Back to someone from the past. Toxic energy. I know that's your card, but... Well, maybe they've done it to you in the past. They move on and leave you to heal. They're positive that they can get this passionate communication with you, but they know it's going to cause a fight. Why? Because this love that you have for them, they know you have this love for them. Queen of Cups. Yeah, but they keep their love a secret. High Priestess, too many secrets. Yeah, and they expect you to wait around and be patient. While they move on with the Chariot. Okay. Yeah, they're going to take that leap of faith somewhere else or treat you like a fool. Tell me about peaceful resolution for this love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. It's too many. Okay. So they have the Three of Cups and the Hangman, yeah. So their way to resolve this peacefully is to go off with another third with someone else or go out drinking and leave you hanging. Basically ghost you. Go off with someone else. Yep, Knight of Pentacles. This is your energy, Earth energy, but this is no action. It can be actions of stability, but for me, I'm getting it's no action. Yeah, looking back, looking back. They turn their back and take no action. 
Yeah, and let the wheel turn. Leave you out in the cold. Because they're too stressed. It's too stressful to move to, to calmer waters with you, so they just sneak off. Yeah. They feel guilty about it, but yeah, they let the wheel turn, leave you out in the cold. Possibly leave you wondering where they are while they're off. They just sneak off. Yeah, the magician. This is how what they manifest. They go off and manifest a new beginning somewhere. They know exactly what they're doing. King of Swords, air energy. Well, that was a five of pentacles again. They know what they're doing. They leave you out in the cold. The star, that's their wish. Yeah, off to out for another choice of lovers. Tell me about take action for this love energy coming towards Capricorn. What action are they going to take? Wow. So we've got the hermit and the tower. Yeah, they're going to ghost you and let the tower fall. They're going to go off on their own, go within themselves, ghost you basically, and let the tower fall. <sighs> the Emperor, and they're totally in control of everything that they're doing here. To stay in control, to stay in control of themselves, because they've got some sort of addiction here. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Three of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles, Earth Energy. So I guess um, they do have love for you, but the wheel's got to turn because they need to put some work into themselves before they can offer anything stable. So it's up to you. We saw that for you. It's up to you. Yeah. They will, mm. They're fine with manifesting in this passion with you. But it's toxic like in the past. It's just going to come to an end. And the end is going to be stressful nights. Because they just walk away. Because it's a burden for them. <sighs> so, you know, they do love you. But... This isn't going to go anywhere right now. I don't see it going. I don't see any healing here. Um, yeah. I don't think this is the right person for you, Capricorn. <sighs> Alright, what would you like to say, Capricorn? I feel like I'm losing you. Yeah, because you know that they're going to walk again, don't you? I now know what I lost. I'm waiting for an apology and I've hidden my love for you. Yeah. Yeah, you know you're going to lose them because this is what they do to you. And you, now you know what you're losing. You're waiting for an apology because it just sucks the way they've treated you, doesn't it? You've lost out on some really good love. So you're waiting for an apology and you're hiding that any love that you have for them because you know that this is not fair on you. It says you feel like home, but and you want someone that makes you feel like home. You love their smile, but yeah. Give me three cards at least for what this love energy coming towards Capricorn wants to say to Capricorn, please. What do they got to say for themselves to Capricorn? Huh, nothing. Come on. Speak up. Thank you. One more, please. At least one more, please. Yeah. 
Thank you. So they've got, I miss you. I'm sure they do. I'm not good enough for you. No, not with this problem that you have here, mate. Yeah, yeah, you can't go treating Capricorn that way. It's not good enough. And they know it. They know it's not good enough. I want you next to me. Yeah. They do want you and they miss you, but they know they're not good enough for you. Bottom of the deck, I'm not over you. No, they're not. I'm always thinking about you. I love you and I love your smile. So they love it when you smile. They do love you and they're always thinking about you. They're not over you, but they know that, that this isn't good enough for you. And they fight between wanting to be with you and knowing that they're doing the wrong thing by you. They know what they're doing, but I think that they can't control that beast um, and that temptation of wanting to be with you, but they know that they're not good. They're no good for you. Now I'm hearing that Linda Ronstead song. You're no good, you're no good, you're no good. Baby, you're no good. <laughs> oh, that was deep. <laughs> Um, yeah, which is about someone that was no good to her. And then she turned around and was no good to somebody else. And then they said the same thing about her, which is that hurt people hurting hurt other people. Someone gets hurt and then they go and hurt someone else and then they go and hurt someone else. And yeah, but yeah, they know they're no good. Hmm. Well, your reading was quick, wasn't it, Capricorn? Hmm. Well, I'm glad because <laughs> my recording device needs a rest. <laughs> but, I mean, the message came out. The message came out the what, as it was supposed to. Um, yeah. But, you yeah, know, they know it's not good enough what they're offering you. It's nowhere near good enough. Um, yeah, heart-to-heart -heart conversation about playfulness. They want to be open and honest with you about their, their playfulness. They think you could be the one, but they know it's unrequited. They, uh, they explained it all in that first section. Well, heart-to-heart, that emotion they feel for you. But playfulness, they know they're just being a player. They think you could be the one. They know that you could be the one, but they know that they're just going to leave again. It's unrequited. They know that they, as much as how awesome you are, it's tempting for them, but they know it's not good what they're offering. Because they're not offering much. They need to go and do their healing and they're not doing it. They don't want to do it. So, oh well, it's their loss, isn't it, Capricorn? Hmm. They need to seek those helpful people and succeed in healing themselves. And maybe in a year from now, they'll um, be able to let go of whatever they need to let go of. That help, that's a helpful people's success. A year from now, they might be able to let go from that. But, um, yeah, what's this that's coming out here? Yeah, because then, yeah, look, I'm not over you. But then we've got, I'm not available because they're not. They're not. I will contact you soon. Please contact me. But see, this is no good because they're not available. Once they've done that work and they're single and ready for love, then they should contact you. So, all right, Capricorn, well, that's your reading. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will do another reading in a few days or so, and we'll see what's going on then. All right, well, all the best. Take care, good luck, and I'll catch you later.